This is a reference video and it's called Where I Buy My Model Engineering Supplies. This is part one. Model steam engines, traction engines, locomotives and boilers. I don't really do much with small steam toys like Mamod and Willesco, but the best place to buy these if you want to buy them new, they're available from a company called Forest Classics. Forest Classics sell a lot more than Willesco and Mamod steam engines and the website is well worth a visit. This Mammoth traction engine, however, did not come from Forest Classics because it's far from new. I originally bought this traction engine via eBay for the princely sum of £25. Recently, I made a short series about rebuilding it. The replacement parts that I bought for the engine all came via eBay. These images are of the engine running before I started to rebuild it. In this clip, to give you some idea of the scale, it is sat on the canopy of my larger traction engine. And speaking of larger traction engines, here it is. This traction engine was bought from Simon Hudson at the Steam Workshop. And Simon's OK is good to deal with when you can actually get hold of him. He's very busy, you have to be patient. I've been quite pleased with this traction engine. Not only does it have a copper boiler, which is very unusual in this size, it has a simple single cylinder steam engine which is easy to repair when it needs repairing, having only one of the major parts to repair. If you have a look on my mainsteam.co.uk website, you can easily find the playlist, it's called a large model traction engine. These are some locomotives that I bought from the steam workshop and this one is absolutely beautiful. It's a very finely detailed 5 inch gauge Stevenson's rocket, with an absolutely excellent paint job. Just look at the quality of that. This is definitely a glass case model in my opinion and it lives in the glass case on my kitchen windowsill. Quite a while ago I worked at the steam workshop for a short while and one of the first models that caught my eye was this, a 5 inch gauge sterling single, unfinished and unpainted. And once again I made a series about it and it's called My Sterling Single. This photograph was taken when I first put it on my workbench. In this clip I'm outside in the garden, it's a lovely sunny day and I'm playing with a Stuart Beam engine and a 504 boiler. I bought these via eBay and I made some cosmetic modifications to the boiler and a total rebuild of the Beam engine. This Beam engine didn't look anything like this when I first got it. It had missing parts and some of the parts were badly made. But now as you can see it runs almost silently and it's a very nice thing to play with. I made a three tap turret for the boiler so I can run three different sizes of steam piping from it. I also fitted a displacement lubricator and a new set of drain cocks that don't leak. I will tell you where I got these from in a later episode. This is a match made in heaven. A great combination. It's a Castle Steam V6 boiler from castleinstruments.co.uk connected to a Stuart Models 5A steam engine. This was built using castings from stuartmodels.com. Originally some of the parts from this engine were bought via a private sale. I machined and fitted the box bed, the flywheel and the reversing gear to it. This is a Southworth duplex steam water pump, just one of a range of Southworth engines water pumps. This and the following steam boiler feed pumps are from southworthengines.com which is now part of Blackgate's engineering. If you're thinking about building these type of pumps, have a good look at the pictures. They are not easy to build, and I don't recommend building one if you are a beginner. This is the Southworth Engines 6 inch weir type pump. This is a Southworth 12 inch steam water pump in need of some attention. This was bought via eBay, and once I gave it the attention that it needed, it ran very well. This is one of the variants of the Southworth pump. It had a gunmetal water cylinder and valve chest, but a cast iron steam cylinder. As you can clearly see, the engine is quite well made. It just needed setting up and the valves were sticking, the usual sort of thing. Here's another 12 inch Southworth pump, but the pump in the background isn't from Southworth Engines. It's a freelance model. Southworth Engines also produce excellent castings to build things like this. This engine is called a tangy type of engine and it's available as a single or tandem compound. Why not have a look on the southwithengines.com website, there are lots more engines available. 
and here are a few more of the pumps that are available. Don't forget though, I don't want to mislead anyone, these are pictures of completed engines. Blackgate's engineering under the heading of southworthengines.com supply castings to make them. And before anyone asks, yes you do generally need a lathe and maybe a milling machine to make these. They're quite difficult to make and not for beginners. If you want an engine that's ready to go, then this may be worth a consideration. This engine is made by a Chinese company who trade under the name of Microcosm. And the website address is www.microcosm-engine.com And in my opinion, for a small brass engine, it's very good. I don't personally like small brass engines because they wear out quickly, but for a model boat that's only going to be sailed infrequently, it's a great power plant. From what I can see by looking on the website, this company trading as Microcosm seem to make quite a large range of top quality steam fittings. This for instance is a gas canister adapter to allow you to fill a gas tank from a commercial canister. This is a nice thing, this is a displacement lubricator with a glass sight window. It's beautifully made and if it works as good as it looks then I give this full marks for being a nice piece of equipment. These small brass engines really are quite nice for what they are. And now to finish off part one of this video series, from the sublime to the ridiculous, this is a full size duplex pump. I bought it via eBay and I restored it and it was a lovely thing. This shows the excellent Jubilee Fittings mechanical oil pump fitted to it. And that concludes part one of the series. I'd like to say stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please bookmark this video, then when you need to know where I get things from, you can watch the videos. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.